We begin tonight at 5.30 with a Target 12 consumer investigation shortchanged. An insurance company caught undervaluing local vehicles that were totaled in crashes. Target 12 consumer investigator Susan Campbell joins us now live in studio with the new details. Susan. Mike and Caroline, more than 100 Rhode Island drivers received refunds. And we've learned the state fined the insurance company $30,000. The crash, December 13th, 2016. The car, a 2006 Honda Civic. And according to this complaint filed with Rhode Island's Department of Business Regulation, the driver says the insurance company, Liberty Mutual, used an illegal valuation method for the determination of fair market value of the car. According to the document, Liberty Mutual offered to settle the total loss claim for $4,200. According to NADA, a state approved vehicle value publication, fair market value for the vehicle was almost 6,000. This complaint prompted the state to investigate more than 2,000 total loss claims paid out by Liberty Mutual from October 2015 to January 2017. The state found in more than 100 cases, vehicle owners were shortchanged. According to this consent agreement, the company was required to issue 126 refunds, totaling more than $100,000 plus interest because NADA values had not been considered. The company also had to refund 115 title fees, totaling more than $6,000 plus interest. Liberty Mutual declined our request for an on-camera interview, but sent a statement acknowledging the improper vehicle valuations and said we regret these errors and any inconvenience caused to these customers. And those impacted were promptly refunded any monies due with interest. We have since implemented corrective procedures to eliminate similar errors in the future. This isn't the first time Liberty Mutual had to pay up for improper vehicle valuations. In 2015, Rhode Island fined the company $10,000 in a separate case. With the Target 12 investigator Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.